Okay. Welcome. This is uh, Eagle Solomon from uh, the About Time blog. I decided to start um, uh, posting videos instead of writing at least for a while. First of all, because I'm uh, very busy with uh, what's called real life stuff. And um, secondly, because um, it's time for a change, right? Because <laughs> today is uh, 10 Kimi, actually today is already over. Uh, and um, what I showed you before was a diagram of a period of 52 days. And how does that figure? Here we have a sequence of, let me turn this a bit askew because let it be east and west and north and south and uh, we have right here we have the Kaban Trekana which is about to end soon after that we'll have Ok or the Dog Trekana followed by Night and finally Wisdom, the Wisdom Trekana. Now what's interesting about this view is that we have 13 days times 4 equals 52. And 52 times 5 is 260. So the Tzolkin can be divided into 4 seasons of 65 days or 5 uh, periods of 52 days. And um, we need to keep in mind, of course, that according to this, we only have one more page to go, which is this one. Okay, the final four trekanas are water, wind, which carries the eagle up to the stars. So, um, okay, I've been uh, discussing lately in the blog about the uh, curious um, relationship that is between stage 1 and 10. Uh, you have to keep in mind, I'll give you some tips about how I would suggest you should um, uh, try to uh, consciously experience uh, the uh, Tolkien the on a daily basis. I'm sure a lot of you already know and uh, you've already established uh, um, your own way, which is which can't be, you know, you can't beat that. Uh, but um, anyway, going back to what I started, uh, 1 and 10. So the first trikana, we have Imish, which turns into a dog. And then um, we also have, um, uh, what else did we have? <laughs> we had uh, the last trikana, we had Khan, the seed turned into a reed into a, a mature conduit. Uh, and here we have earth, which is kaban, uh, which turns into change, which is very interesting. Now, um, this, I mean, to me anyway, um, so Kimi, Kimi, what, a, what an amazing sun sign is Kimi, right here. Uh, the way I read it and understood it over the past years in the workshops I've been giving, uh, and, well, Kimi is, is a sign of, of surrender, of change that is, that is inevitable. And uh, Kimi um, is a very subtle energy, and when it's manifested the way it was today, then it is something so deep inside and so fundamental. Uh, it's on a global level because it's on this trikana. Now, um, another thing that I wanted to discuss is um, the fact that all the Eastern sun signs, uh, apart from representing beginnings, uh, representing autumn, representing the sunrise, the beginning of a day, uh, they also stand for uh, life itself, anything that is alive. 
Um, the most human forms of, of this is, uh, mm, where is it? Yes, here it is. Chichan. The serpent, okay? It is, uh, that's our life force. Uh, and it is basic. And it has to confront the mirror in the next Taikana in order to um, refine itself. Life uh, stares reflect itself. So after, uh, after um, the snake, we also have uh, water. And water is very much alive. Uh, the same as the air that is alive. And uh, if you've ever listened to David Wilcock, he'll tell you that uh, space is also full of life, full of organisms, full of things that we call nothing. And the water is, can be considered as nothing, uh, can be taken for granted because it's part of life, but it's alive and, it, uh, and it's required at the beginning of every process. So we have a four-day sequence um, which revolves around uh, the, the East. We have something that comes alive, uh, like Kaban. Kaban also is the Earth, uh, which is a live organism all in itself. And this life has to undergo a trial in the North, a trial of death and a trial of uh, refinement. And after that, it goes to the collective domain in the West for uh, procreation, for uh, exchange of ideas. What we're doing right now is Western in many ways. And that allows the maturity of the South, which in turn um, brings new things into the world, again, when the sun rises in the East. So, um, okay, so let's go back to now okay I found a very interesting connection between Kaban and Ok and there has to be some sort of connection between them first of all because it it's uh, north to uh, east which is comfort and uh, also um, there's a very special connection between Kaban and uh, Lamat, uh, the sun sign of the star. So we have earth and a dog at night brings wisdom. And please note that in the daily sequence of sun signs, the Winal, uh, Kib comes, sorry, Kib comes right before Kaban. So even though we start here and we end up here almost uh, 40 some days later, we are back in time in terms of the sun sign complexity. And this is a pattern which is repeated, of course, because uh, next time around we'll have Muluk, which ends up in Lamat, and Lamat just comes before Muluk in the Winal. And it's the same for uh, all the rest. Uh, okay, I think that'll be enough for this time around. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.